Gentleman, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, it has been a long time coming, but I have 100K subscribers. I feel 100K heavier, minus the pockets, but that doesn't matter. That does not matter because you know what? I have you guys and that's worth more than all the money in the world. <laughs> Anyways, take a moment here and thank you all for subscribing to my channel. It's been a long, 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 long time coming. For those of you who stuck around with me since the very beginnings when I posted that drugstore video, or for those of you who were around all the way back to when I was posting my lip syncs that I've since hidden and, you know, locked away from the public. All right, so in celebration of 100K and the fact that I haven't got my YouTube plaque yet, I'm gonna do a 100K subscribers makeup look, which is essentially me just doing my makeup and talking to you guys. But you know what? It's gonna be great. We're gonna have a good time. Let's get started. If it's raining and you hear the rain, that is because it is in fact raining outside and it's trying to rain on my 100K parade. Don't mind that, Mother Nature's a player hater. All right, I'm glued on my eyebrows off camera. You've seen me do this a million times. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Okay, these eyebrows were a journey, but we're gonna work through this, all right? Let's start putting some makeup on. First things first, I gotta color correct and I am running low on the Nikita Dragon color corrector. Ouch, Dragon Beauty. I paid a lot of money for this, so I'm gonna get the most out of it. All right, we are color corrected. Let's start applying our foundation because we got a long, not that long actually. We just got a whole look ahead of us. And you can tell we've been in quarantine for a minute now because I'm running dangerously low on my foundation. <laughs> Ooh, my lighting is violet today. Yes, royal purple, because I am now royalty in YouTube, I think. Not yet, I don't have the plaque yet. Do you know they, they don't send that plaque out right away when you get 100K subscribers? I didn't even know that. Like you have to go through this whole trial and tribulation where they have to like look over your channel to make sure you got the subscribers in a legitimate way and to make sure that you're following the rules, like you didn't buy your subscribers, which I found out was a thing. Had I known that, I would have bought them ages ago. I am back. My eyebrows are down, my foundation is set. Let's get going on this makeup. I'm going to do my contour and open this thing if I can. Jeez, all right. I'm using the LA Colors Contour Kit that I got from Family Dollar, still, because you know, it's all just closed, but it's fine, you know? We're gonna make do. You know, we are survivors on this channel here. That's what we do, is we survive. I'm starting to believe that all these contour things are just all the same thing. No matter what, you're doing drag, so you're gonna be throwing on a million things of makeup on your face anyway. Eventually it all just blends together and looks the same. I'm still running in this race. It just so happens that my go-kart is made out of bubble gum and cardboard. Oh, there we go. 1980s TV movie contour that we're going for today. All right, let's add some blush because I always forget to do it and I wanna make sure I get it done right away because I want it to like sit on my face and cook. So I'm gonna use the Summer of Love palette and we're gonna be using this blush right now because this one's most in the pants. So we're gonna try a, a brighter color today because I'm gonna dress up as what I imagined I would look like when I finally got to 100K subscribers. In my future, I would uh, picture myself wearing lots and lots of blush, just like packing it on. Just like Tammy Faye Baker it up, you know? Get real tardy with it. Look like an 1800s whore. All right, now I look like a victim of Jack the Ripper. Let's keep going. Ooh, I had to dim down my lights because I was too bright. Okay, I'm going to trace out where my eyebrows are going to go. All right, let's see, I'm going to use the Kimchi Chic palette and dig into chocolate like I usually do because my future self would still be using the same palettes I bought from years ago until they're gone because I'm cheap. I wanna draw my brows really high and thin today because the older you get, the thinner your eyebrows get. And I want to look like the wicked stepmother in Cinderella. Ooh, girl, the gods have smiled upon me because it looks like my eyebrows are somewhat even. Oh, that's my eBay. Let's see if I won. My new hobby right now is bidding on old vintage Barbie dolls and losing. It's a hobby I consistently win at. Yeah, I've missed out on this item. Damn it. All right, whatever, it's fine. Whoever outbid me for this vintage Barbie, your mama's a f I'm like the worst when it comes to eBay bidding. I'm just like, the second it gets to like the market value of what it's actually worth, I'm out. I'm like, what, $30? No, ma'am. Oh, my Paris Hilton? That's a good place to stop for now. We'll come back to them. But I just wanted to browse there so I know where to stop with my eye makeup. All right, I'm going to go in with a crease brush. If I can find the damn thing. 
put your brushes back in one place, you never figure out where the hell you put them. This is why you never get organized, kids. Don't have an organized workspace, those works against you. I'm gonna use the Selena palette from MAC Cosmetics. Ooh, oh, whoa, oh, babe. Oh, it's dirty. Oh, whoa, oh, baby. I have to sing it off key because then I'll get sniped by YouTube's algorithm police. These are the colors. I've already dipped into this because of course I have. Nothing sacred on this channel. They're so pretty. I wish they got in that purple shade from the original launch in here somewhere. That one was great. I bought like three of those things and they're all expired now. Oh my God, I remember when MAC was like the top tier of makeup. Like when I first started doing drag back and like, that was like, you know, we all looked up to MAC like, oh my God, it is so expensive, but it's so good. Makeup will never be as good as this. It will never measure up and cut to 2020 and literally every makeup line is good. <laughs> you just like are spoiled for options. I remember the simpler times when we spent $18 on a lipstick and thought, Jesus, how am I gonna feed my family? Yes. Okay, that's cute. Dust that off though and go on with a deeper color because I'm going to create depth. Depth, that's what I'm going for, depth. Depth. Is that a name? It does not have a name. Whatever, it's fine. Dark brown. I guess we could just start naming them whatever we want. Whatever's related to Selena, we could just name them that. So this dark brown one will be, um, my mind is completely blank, Coca-Cola? Yeah, Coca-Cola, there we go, yeah. Cause she was a spokesperson for Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola classic. Oh, so good. See, look at that, I should be on the marketing team. Yeah, sure, I boosty caca. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, that's true, oh my God. Speaking of which, the boosty caca's on here. Look at that, that's her bra. It's the boosty A. <laughs> All right, it's time to cut my creases. I'm using ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Fair. That's fair? I know what you're wondering, James. I recall in your Raquel Welch video that you were gonna buy a lace front wig from Raquel Welch. Well, I'll let you folks know right now. I bought that wig. They just haven't shipped my order yet. I swear, right here and now, I bought that wig, so you can't get me wrapped up in some YouTube scandal. I'll end up on Spill's little like video series where they show bad clips of me, or like screenshots where I'm all like, and then they talk over me in a really soft-spoken voice. It ain't happening on this channel. No, ma'am. We are gonna get the Raquel Wells lace front. I picked a good one. You're gonna like it. And hopefully I like it because it was fucking expensive. All right, I'm gonna finish this up and then set it and then we're gonna get to the actual fun stuff where we actually do some makeup. All right, I am back. Now for future me, I am gonna wear nothing but blue eyeshadow. That's right, garage doors is the theme of today's eye makeup look. I'm dipping into a couple palettes. The first one is the Alexis Stone Makeup Revolution palette, which was very, very cheap and I like that. I'm gonna use this blue right here, Tardy Blue, yes. I'm gonna Wow. You want Marilyn Monroe to look back at you like, sweetie, I think you're overdoing it. Speaking of Marilyn Monroe and blue eyeshadow, did y'all ever see the prince in the showgirl? Where she's like a stage actress in England and she does like this stage scene and she comes off stage and she has like full garage doors, like blue eyeshadow up to her eyebrow. It is incredible. And like Laurence Olivier is chasing after her and he's like 60 something and she's like 26. It was an interesting film. Let's go in with this dark, dark blue, and a little depth. Now we need a lighter blue. So I'm going to go in probably with this one. I think kimchi has a better one. No, sugar pill is a better one. Let's do that one. Blue, sugar pill. Oh, I love it. Something about blue eyeshadow that just automatically just go, reads trashy. And I just live for that. So I'm gonna lightly taper it downward here, but not too much because I wanna actually put a lighter color here in the corner. So we're just gonna slowly taper it, but pack them both here in the center of the eyelid. Yeah, it's almost like we're creating Jigglypuff's eyes on our eyelids. All right, eyeliner time. Now I already traced off where I wanted to start my eyeliner with the darker blue. So that's where we're putting it. There you go. It should look like deep blue sea happening on your eyelid. Just full ocean and a shark fin right there. 
you know, deep flu sea with LL Cool J and the Smart Sharks. Okay, now let's do some more makeup. My eyeliner underneath, y'all. Whew, okay, that always freaks me out, but we're good. Got the under eyeliner on, now let's just put a little black under there to make it a little softer, because it's a little hard right now. Use my kimchi chic. Soften that up some. Soft, delicate, graceful, like a ballerina. Okay, take a little bit of the black and put it on here, just to add more depth. And taking what little residue I have here, just going to blend out this line here so it's not quite so harsh. It's a little Mimi Bobak from Drew Carey, but I swear it'll all make sense later to quote Miss Fame. <sighs> I just gotta put my nose contour on and I feel like we're almost ready with this look. Oh, and honey, I feel like I have hit a true milestone for myself. You guys don't know how long I've been busting, actually some of you do know how I've been busting my butt to get 100K subscribers, but it has been such a goal for me for so long and I can happily say I'm going to quit you. No, I'm kidding. I am so ecstatic and I cannot wait. I want 200K subscribers now. Although I have to say, when I started mentioning it more and more and more, especially like it was weird the last couple of days, I got the 100K and I was like, <gasps> and especially after I promised to buy that Raquel Welch wig, I think that might have been a big incentive for it. Highlights. <laughs> Slather that on. Make sound effects too, that also helps. Helps with the makeup process. We're getting to a point in the video where I need y'all to start praying for me because I haven't done this in a minute and it could go disastrous. It also could be great, but the possibility of it being disastrous is forever looming. Right, now I got these a while back. They are prosthetic lips that we ordered from Etsy and I'm excited to try them out because I love prosthetic lips. And it was a gift I'm gonna give to myself that is not permanent because I don't wanna look, walk around looking like Donald Duck. Here we go, put some rosé down. Oh, I love it already. <laughs> Watch me like seal my mouth shut. <laughs> All right, I have the bottom lip somewhat glued on. So let's start the top one. Do like a prosé lip gloss and then we'll jump back to our eyes and finish those up. And then we'll be done with the look. <sighs> All right, while that tacks up, let's do our eyes some more. All right, I'm gonna go in with the blue color and fade out up here because it's a little bare. Actually, what I need to do is carve up here first because the eyebrow needs a little more help. We're gonna carve under here to bring out our brow bone. Almost like we're creating the mask from Alice Sweet Alice on her face. <laughs> All right, I'm on borrow time because my lips are about to stick together. Let's put some black in this crease and just redefine it. There we go. My mouth is starting to water from this rosé. <laughs> Keep my mouth open. <laughs> okay, let's do this quick. Because I don't have a whole lot of time. Just paste them on. <laughs> I look like Howard the Duck. I will say adding more prosade actually really helped. Like the more you put on, the tackier it gets. It feel like the more it, it starts to stick. Ooh. And I'm just going to press these off camera and I'll be right back. Now, I can't really use a lip liner on these because it's such a delicate process. So, oh my God, is that my, is that a lip? <laughs> is that my voice? Ew. Okay, so, yeah, like I said, you gotta be delicate with this. So I have to learn how to talk with a new way of speaking. I'm going to use Saraya Jade. Oh God, that's gonna get so annoying. Here we go, Saraya Jade and It looks like it actually looks like those old Barbie dolls where like their lips extend out like, and their eyelashes are like molded. All right, I am back. I'm gonna use my Gerard Cosmetics lip liner in Red Brick Road. And if you'd like to save some money at Gerard Cosmetics, use my code James for 30% off your purchase. All right, now I'm going to try and give myself a lip line here. Also, I found that if I press it, it helps keep it on more. How about that? So for the bottom of this, I'm gonna use a little bit of contour. Use my contour palette. Yeah, a little bit under there so it creates even more of a shadow. See? That looks even bigger. All right, now I just gonna add a little bit of glitter and I'm gonna go with the 
unicorn skin glitter and take some of that and press it onto my lids to create a sparkle. Whew. All right, I didn't do my nose. Let's go in with the white. Okay, I'm gonna do my button a little higher. Yes, I look insane. I look like Pinocchio's sister. Delicately blend it. All right, now I just gotta do eyelashes and I will be right back with the final look. <laughs> I look insane. Jane Spansel made a video celebrating 100K subscribers. However, when she made the video, she forgot to do her Ven moment and her PayPal alimony. The names she forgot to say were Jan, Dragged Up, Sam, Corinna, Roy, Jesus, Aaron, Jesus G, Sean, Stefan, James, Maximiliano, Brian, Juicebox, Grace, and Emily. She forgot all those names. James Mansfield doesn't care about her fan base. James Mansfield's a terrible person. We should cancel James Mansfield. Hey, knock it off. I am back. Now I just gotta do a little bit of a highlight on my apples of my delicate cheeks. Oh, this is horrible. Oh my God. These lips are terrible. Eh. Thank God I never got my lips done. They've been such a mistake. Walk around looking like Scrooge McDuck and drag. Ugh. And I have to say this again. This is actually me being serious, you guys. I'm so serial right now. You guys, thank you all so much for subscribing to me. You guys got me to 100K. No matter how many times you watch me struggle with wigs, I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you all so much. And I, I do mean sincere. I mean it sincerely, even though I can barely talk with these lips on. It's like a super lisp, and I have so much spit developing right now. It's crazy. It's just so much slobber with these lips, you guys. You just you don't even understand. And I'm listing a lot more than usual. Anyways, this is the final result. Ooh, I feel sexy. I am giving you old Hollywood birthday clown realness right now. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> now let's look at... Well, that nail just went somewhere. This look is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. The James Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this wig a spritz. Now my hair smells just like cream soda. <laughs> Available at blackfeedingsalchemylab.com. And grooming is an absolute drag, but thankfully I have Manscaped. Use my code Mansfield or James20, whichever one works. I haven't gotten a solid answer yet. <laughs> and get 20% of your purchase plus free shipping. <laughs> now don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I do mean subscribe too. I want to get the 200K. That's right. We have a new goal. <laughs> and until next time, bye. Click here and watch me transfer a $175 Ratcal Welch wig. Oh my God, that was expensive. Or it's me transfer a subscriber's wig. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll upload a video of me recreating every cringe TikTok around. So click it.